Hello, this is Chef Marinara. Welcome to the kitchen. We're going to make insalata caprici salad today. Uh, if you're not in Italy and you want a very good insalata caprice, you better make it yourself. Here we go. To begin with, we've got the butcher block. We've got the knives. I'll be using a tomato knife today as well as a utility knife today. We've got the fresh tomatoes, nice soft ripe tomatoes, fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, balsamic vinegar reduction, this has been cooked down for about five minutes, it's as thick as a syrup, parmigiano reggiano in the grater, sea salt, black pepper, this is an electric salt mill, electric pepper mill, fresh basil. To begin, we do our basic mise en place, remove the stems from the tomatoes. I like these stem on tomatoes, they work very well. We're going to use a small paring knife and just quickly remove the tops of the tomatoes, like so. Now I'm using the tomato knife, I'm going to an inch point. thick, approximately. This knife cuts through tomatoes better than any knife you could use. It's made by Messermeister, Saling in Germany. Once the tomatoes are sliced, we'll just be moving them to the side and reserving them for our assembly. I'm going to slice this fresh mozzarella approximately a quarter inch thick. And if I have difficulty, I'll switch to a cheese knife. It depends how much moisture is in the mozzarella. We're going to set this mozzarella aside right over here. The next thing we're going to do is chiffonade some basil. For the chiffonade of basil you want to line the leaves up, the biggest widest leaves, roll them up. I'll be using my Santuco knife here and the chiffonade is a very fine, like almost like a julienne cut. Very, very nice. Great on a salad. Great in a pasta. This is a correct chiffonade. I've decided to cut the top of the tomatoes into a brumois. This will be used as part of my garnish when I assemble the tomatoes. A brumois is a one-eighth by one eighth inch dice. That's what we're looking for. A little practice with the knife and you'll get a little bit faster. This is a correct brumois used quite often in gourmet restaurants. I'm going to put my brumois tomatoes in a small dish. We use a lot of these dishes in the restaurant. Ah, the fun part, assembly. We're going to start with uh, a nice plate. We're going to layer alternately tomato, mozzarella, basil, oil vinegar, sea salt, pepper, and we're going to build it up. Sea salt, black pepper, sea salt, black pepper, parmigiano reggiano, fresh basil, tomato, cheese, touch of balsamic vinegar, just a splash, a little extra virgin olive oil, mozzarella, tomato, basil, and we continue. Build it up. Reggiano. Oh yeah. 
Okay, this is looking pretty good. We're going to put a little sprig of fresh basil for a garnish over here. We're going to put some diced brumois tomatoes around the plate. We're going to finish with another splash of extra virgin olive oil. Get a little on the plate here as well. Everybody likes olive oil. We're going to use our balsamic vinegar reduction. It's about as thick as syrup. Just a few drops. Touch more sea salt. Voila! And salata caprice. Very simple. The finished salad. Your guests will love it. When I'm done with my knives, I wash them off under hot soapy water, towel dry them, including the handles, put them back in the block, that way they last.